Alright, Shalom, welcome to Allah. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all the praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashem and Shai Bashem and Chakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the altar of the millstone. And peace and mercy to you, brothers, man. Okay. Now, you know, as I was scrolling on Facebook, <coughs> I came across this uh, post, and it says "Husband and Wife Challenge." Okay. Now, this world is totally backwards, man. As you can see here, you got these men wearing, okay, the clothes that their woman would wear. Okay, and vice versa, you got this woman wearing their man's clothes, man. Okay, um, you know, to the world, this is something that's fun to do as a couple. To the world, this is, you know, pretty much um, how you bond with your wife, okay, or your husband. To the world, this is, you know, pretty much have fun, okay. My husband or my wife does exactly you know, um, what I do as well, okay, to the world, this is, you know, um, equality, okay, but in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Shah, the scripture cuts this, okay, the scripture says that a man should not wear that which pertains unto the woman, man, roughly paraphrasing, you know, so this right here, this, this is wrong, okay, look at this shit, man, here it is, a grown-ass man with a beard, putting on this, you know, this fucking dress, man, with these high heels. Look at this shit right here. Look at this shit, and you're supposed to respect that, okay? How the hell, okay, as a wife, you're supposed to look at that shit and respect that, okay? And as a husband, how the hell are you supposed to look at this shit and have respect for this, man? Okay, look at this shit, man. And you're telling me that the Lord is not coming to destroy this place? Okay, and you're telling me, you know, that the men of the Lord are not sighing and crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Look at this shit, man. Look at this. And majority of these are, you know, our people, Israelites, majority of them doing this shit, man. Okay, let me, you know, let me bring out a few scriptures. This is in the book of First Corinthians. Chapter 6, verse 9, it says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh, be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, okay, effeminate, nor abusers of their own selves, neither nor abusers of themselves with mankind, Okay, let's let's just go to Google and look up what that word effeminate means. Okay, this is effeminate, okay? Of a man having or showing characteristics regarded as typical of a woman, unmanly. This right here is showing a, you know, a, a characteristic, okay, that is of a woman. This right here. Look at these fucking men. Look at this shit, man. Okay, let me go back to Google again. Effeminate. It says, of a man having or showing characteristic regarded as a typical of a woman. Unmanly, okay? Womanish, unmanly, okay? Affected, okay? Posturing. Let's look at what the word posturing goes, okay? It says, behavior that is intended to impress or mislead behavior that is intended to impress or mislead a lot of these men they do this shit here to impress their woman but guess what this is misleading okay as a child when you see shit like this it confuses you okay it misleads you and a lot of men today do a lot of foolish things, okay? They break the laws of Yahab Bashim Shai to impress their woman, which women are ruled by emotions, man, okay? Women are ruled by emotions, okay? They will, they will get, you know, they will pretty much be hurt if you don't do this shit with them. Look at this shit, man, okay? Going back, 
This is in the book of um, Salaki. Let me just you know grab this. Neither shall a man, a woman's garment. Deuteronomy 22, verse 5, okay, it's a lock here, it's Satan, okay, messing up with my phone, it's a lock here, just, just bear with me here real quick, this is in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5, it says, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, and neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy power. Let me read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto the, unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord Yahweh thy power. Okay, this right here. Okay, is an abomination unto Yahweh Bashem Shai. This right here is filthiness. Okay, this is a filthy act in the eyes of Yahab Bashim Roshai. Okay, I just want to show you brothers, man, you know, this quick video here. Until next time, Shalom.